These are the headlines for today. Ultra processed food, a tremendous risk for obesity in teens. Artificial intelligence, software that can change your words into images. And a noisy rooster is fined heavily. In this case, causes controversy. My name is Michael and you're watching MW Newscast. These are the details for today's stories. First story, ultra processed food increases obesity risk in adolescents by 45%. It is no secret that ultra-processed food is not the healthiest option when it comes to a balanced diet. But a new study has shed even more light on the risk of obesity it can pose in young people. The study by researchers at the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil found that the risk of obesity is 45% higher among adolescents whose diet is based on ultra-processed foods such as pre-packaged meals, sweetened breakfast cereals, and reconstituted meat products. Participants of the study included 3,587 adolescents aged 12 to 19 who recalled at least one day of eating. The researchers divided participants in the study into three groups according to the amount of ultra-processed foods consumed. The study results found those who consumed the highest amounts of ultra-processed food, 64% of total diet by weight, were 45% more likely to be overweight, obese, compared to those with the lowest consumption, 18.5% of the total diet. Examples of ultra-processed foods include salty or sweet packaged snacks, breakfast cereals and bars ready to eat pizza, burgers and hot dogs candy, pastries, and soft drinks, among others. Obesity in children and adolescents is really becoming a serious problem. Next story, AI software called DAL-E converts your words into pictures. Artificial intelligence has changed the world by solving highly complex mathematical questions and making tedious tasks easy. Now, Google and OpenAI have developed artificial intelligence models that generate images based on text. These artificial intelligence AI models come from Google's Imagine software, a startup backed by Microsoft known as OpenAI, which developed the software DAL-E Mini. According to its developer, it is capable of realistic images and art from natural language descriptions. There is a good chance that by scrolling lately through your social media feeds, you often notice illustrations accompanied by captions. They are becoming very popular recently. However, Google and OpenAI have not made the technology openly available to the public. That is why only a small batch of people can share their pictures and generate engagement. In fact, most of the first uses are friends and relatives of employees only, but sooner than later it may become broadly available. Really, AI is transforming every walk of life. Last story for the day, Rooster Claudio causes controversy in Peru. A resident of Lima, Peru has been fighting a dispute with the city council. She claims to have been fined in the amount of 920 Peruvian soles, approximately 250 US dollars, for keeping a rooster as a pet and disturbing her neighbors with the noise. Naomi Sotilo has owned the rooster, Claudio, since she rescued him from a dump just over a year ago. According to the Peruvian newspaper La Repubblica, the case has caused controversy and outrage among the population. Since, according to them, the city hall should focus on other more relevant aspects that affect the lives of the people who live there, rather than on a noisy rooster. In addition, the rooster has already proven to be domesticated and well taken care of. Apparently, after a huge public attention on the matter, things have been finally settled. The owner will retain the rooster at home after getting the approval of her neighbors. And she won't need to pay any penalty. And that is the end of today's station. Thanks for watching MW Newscast. Subscribe to my channel to always be on top events happening around the world. Once again, my name is Michael and see you on the next edition. Take care and have a good day.